What's up YouTube fans? Today we're going to do a comparison of the Fans Toys FT29T tuned version of Quietus with the standard version of Quietus. So this one just came out. You can see it's got 2021 there. This one is from 2018. So a couple years of difference here. And I wanted to go into depth on the differences between the two. I didn't really find a video that kind of went into that. So I'm going to go over that. This won't be our standard versus. It also won't be our standard kind of review. So it'll be just something different. But I did want to go over the differences, starting with the box and the packaging. So they've changed out the animated artwork here we have from Johannes Vinci and put on the just product images on the front. So that's one change. Obviously it says 29T instead of 29. Here's the side of the box. You get an animated drawing of him in the vehicle mode. And then on the back, we've got different product shots and images. Now they did leave this the same, so the bio is actually the same, but the images and pictures are changed. It does hard to see the pink on camera, so I'm going to probably have to change my lighting a little bit just to show you the pink and then maybe go back, but it does, it's very subtle on camera, seeing the pink versus the white. That's right here for the box. You also have differences, and I was really surprised they went to the trouble of changing the card. So it does say T on this, it also, they changed the year, and then the image itself is a little bit darker. Again, going to be hard to pick up on camera, but the T version is slightly more purple. On the back, you've got obviously a different product shot. You've got the pink version versus the white version. Everything else is exactly the same. So here are the figures out of the packaging. And right away you can see the color differences. We're going to kind of go over all the color differences in the figures as well as the accessories. But starting off with the figures, you can see the all the whites on the original figure have been replaced with this pinkish white. And then all the blues have been replaced with this purplish, more darker purple color on the new figure. So. That's kind of supposed to be too inaccurate, and I, mean, I don't know if it actually is. You know, it's really up to your eye in which frame of the cartoon you actually look at. But either way, those are the differences. So all of the white has been changed. Now it is painted everywhere you see, so the, the face, the arms, the hands, and the, the thighs are all painted in that pink. I'm not sure about the original. I can't tell if it's just a pearlescent plastic that they used, or if they actually painted it. Uh, but it does have some kind of, you know, coloration to it that's not just white plastic. So, other than that, there are no molding changes between these two as far as the robot mode is concerned. There was a rumor or I guess a question about whether they fixed the uh, issue with the canopy in vehicle mode being able to attach. We will take a look at that. I want to confirm whether that is the case or not, if they fixed that issue. But other than that, I don't find any differences in the molding in the robot mode. So let's take a look at the accessories that they come with. So they both come with a Target Master. The Target Masters are identical. They have the exact same color, black, painted silver, pretty much everything the same. Obviously no Decepticon logo on them. Next we have the larger gun. Again, no changes whatsoever. They look exactly the same, same color, same paint. The smaller gun, again, again, pretty much the same. They've got the silver paint with the blue accent and then the black. As far as the swords are concerned, there is a change, which was really surprising to me. The jewel in the center, that little crest is actually a different color. It's hard to tell on camera, but this is obviously color matched to this and this is color matched to this. So you can tell them apart. On the smaller sword, same thing. The crest has been changed to color match with the figure. For the hip skirts slash sheaths for the sword, these have also been changed. The color matched to the new paint. So that's really good attention to detail there that they did that. All right, continuing on with the faces. So they have changed the colors on the faces. So pretty, easy, pretty much instead of the white, you've got that pink. And all of them in that same way, they've replaced that paint. Other than that, though, it's the same. The eye color is the same. And there's the standard face, straight face. They've also changed the colors on the alternate IDW heads. So here is the new one. Obviously, the purple is darker than the blue on this one. And they're color matched. And then the faces are also with that pink. It looks like the eyes are about the same. The same black and the same red. 
And then for the kind of broken horn piece, uh, which I, I guess I have it on the head, those also have been color matched and painted. So pretty much everything that's included, even including these extra sheath pieces, the paint colors have been changed. So everything you see here has all been color matched. That's a really good attention to detail on fans toys that they went through and did all of that over again. Now nothing is remolded as far as I can tell everything's exactly the same. So here we have them both in their vehicle modes and I just want to confirm a couple of things right away. So number one the chest canopy piece still pops up. It doesn't get pegged in properly and that's due to a peg underneath just having too much paint on it. You can actually just shave that down and that'll fix that issue. So unfortunately they did not fix that. You can see on this one I've already shaved it down and it does peg in nicely and it's nice and flush. Second issue, this chest piece, uh, it's still very easy to scrape the paint on this. So my recommendation is to transform the chest last even though they say to do it first. And also maybe put a little piece of plastic. This is a cling wrap. So I just put a little cling wrap on there to prevent the knees from scratching the chest. Um, but you can kind of get it in there last and then hopefully that avoids any scratching. But just as an extra precaution, you can put a little piece of plastic there as well. Um, so those two issues still exist. Uh, other than that, the only difference is this purple color being darker. They even have the nose color being the same pink. And that's interesting because the pink on that is the same pink on here, but the pink on the original figure is not matching with that. So that's interesting they chose to make the vehicle mode that same pink. But that's really it. There are literally no molding changes to this figure. All of the accessories, everything's the same. The only difference is the paint colors. So if you prefer these paint colors, then maybe it's worth a pickup. Otherwise, there's really no reason to pick this one up. There's no changes. And unless you prefer this color, you're not gonna need it in your collection. Me personally, I'll probably keep one just for the vehicle mode. This one is already spoken for. I have a local friend who've been looking for this figure. It's actually one of the first MPs he found. Uh, Greg, if you're watching this. So this will be set aside for him. But if you are looking for this, it might be good to have as a second in vehicle mode. So that's really it for today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.